east tonight. Future forecast here as we move through tomorrow does look like it's going to be a mostly cloudy day. We may see a few lake effect snow showers getting close to Racine and Kenosha. The models don't have this far enough west to actually bring that snow to Racine and Kenosha, but could see a couple of flurries. We'll have to watch that as we head through the morning. The rest of the day uh, fairly quiet. Again, more clouds than sunshine. A lot of people asking about snow potential for next week. We've been talking about this for a couple of days. Still too soon to say anything certain. However, this is a look at one of the model runs. Note the very sharp cutoff here in that snow potential across central Wisconsin and the band where moderate to heavy snow looks like it's going to set up would be just to our south. But this is just one model and this is just one run of one model. Things can change over the next couple of days. We're going to continue to keep an eye on it. As of now, the track still uncertain. Too early to say anything specific about snow totals. The models again in poor agreement here. Farther south you are, I would say the better chance that you have to see some snow. But again, that may change. Check back with us uh, tomorrow and again on Monday for the latest. In the meantime, 27 mostly cloudy tomorrow, 32 breezy. It'll feel a little cooler, but still pretty quiet on Monday. Just a slight chance that we see a couple of showers on Tuesday. Tuesday, the warmest day of the week with a high close to 40 degrees. We've got that chance for snow in the forecast on Wednesday. May still see some snow showers Thursday, Friday. Again, that's all going to depend on the track of that system. We do see things cooling back down as we move towards the end of the week.